Okay, so this is my third video today, so don't think I wear the same shirt every day. Uh, because I just decided to do three videos today because I've got a lot to say. Um, so before, in the last video, my cell phone went off. Um, so who knows, that might get blocked because, uh, of the ringtone with the super tramp. Uh, give a little bit. Awesome song. Anyways, um... Uh, so I was talking about the walker, so that's one thing. Um, I wanted to mention the stroller because I had my heart pretty much set on the upper baby stroller because that's supposed to be like the best stroller and it seemed like it was going to be pretty secure. But um, I ended up going to another baby shop and I found a stroller that I hadn't seen before called the Britex stroller. I'm just looking at it now actually. It's B-R-I-T-A-X. And I hope I don't burp during this video because I'm trying so hard not to. Um, okay. And it's awesome because it's really, really stable. And um, I mean, there's going to be the odd time where I put, probably put a little bit too much weight on the stroller. And my husband, he took the stroller and he jumped up and down. He couldn't get it to tip. Whereas with the upper baby, you can't lean on it. Um, it's going to tip. Um, where it would go, hang on, let me see if I can do this. Okay. It would go, if this is the stroller, right? This part is like the wheels, whatever. It would go like, when you put weight on it, it would just flip up. So, uh, yeah, so we got the Britex. It's awesome. It's actually cheaper. Um, you do have to buy the bassinet separately and the uh, car seat separately. Um, we haven't bought the car seat yet because we don't actually have a car. Um, and we have an infant car seat that, that we're going to be using. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. So... Um, maybe what I'll do in an upcoming video is I will post this stroller because I've tried out so many strollers and this is like the most awesome. Like, it's just, it's so stable. I mean, you don't want to take the stroller to lean on it and use it. Oh God, okay, I am going to burp. <laughs> um, okay, sorry, okay. I'll be fine. Um, like, but the thing is, I'm not going to be using my forearm crutches. And my forearm crutches can fit securely into this stroller as well. So, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, okay, so if, if my husband shows up or whatever and he wants to push the stroller, then I can take my crutches out and I can do that. I am really excited uh, to... To tell you about the different experiences that I'm having um, as this progresses, because I think this is actually going to be an ongoing thing. Because there's, I mean, unless you have CP, even your parents, I mean, you know, and they've dealt with your CP your whole life or whatever, just don't get it. So I'm not saying that I understand everything because there's so many variants of CP. I mean. There are people who who are more affected in their upper body. There are people um, who walk better than I do. There are people that walk worse than I do. There are people in, in wheelchairs. It's 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 a birth defect, or it's it's something that occurs. It's a neurological issue actually, but it, it's so extreme. It can go from one end to the other, and. Um, there really isn't anything out there for when, like, well, for instance, about, I guess, oh, we're going back like 17 years now, I broke my foot. Um, so that affected my CP and changed my, my walking pattern, and they weren't able to get me walking to where I was before because they didn't know how I was walking before. Um, so uh, that put me permanently on crutches, on forearm crutches. Um, and 
I learned then that I should have had a video of my walking um, before I had the accident, so it would have helped uh, get my walking back to normal. Um, anyway, uh, it's just, I think it's important. Um, a funny story, I went to the, the emergency um, room, uh, emergency hospital, I guess, uh, oh, close to a year ago now, but um, I knew I did something with my foot, and I didn't know if I had just sprained the ankle or if I had broken my foot, and I was nervous because this was the foot that I had broken previously. Um, so I wanted to get it checked out. So, I mean, you go there and you're waiting, and you're waiting, and you're waiting, and the doctor finally sees me, and we go through everything, and everything's fine. I just sprained my ankle, uh, which for me is, is um, basically means I'm off my foot for three weeks, um, and uh, he says, okay, so is there anything else? And I'm like, no. What do you mean? And he's like, really? He's like, there's nothing else? And I'm like, no. And he's like, well, it says here that uh, that you've been complaining about chest pain. I'm like, what? Are you, are you sure? Are you sure it's me? And he says, yeah, it's written right here. Patient has CP, chest pain. And I'm like, it says patient has CP? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, because I have CP, cerebral palsy. So, um, I don't know. I, I still laugh about that. I, I think that's hilarious because my crutches were there. And, I, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, but it's it's kind of funny, too. Like, I guess sometimes I get mistaken for a drunk person. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like if I ever, I don't know, just um, not that I think I look drunk, but, you know, like, People just, if they aren't familiar with persons with cerebral palsy, they don't, they just don't know, right? So I just wanted to pass that along because I thought it was funny, but I'm going to end it here because, as I said, I like to try to keep my videos short. Take care.